Before we can do any React application development, the first step would be to set up a development environment and compared to a lot of other frameworks, getting set up for React is actually quite easy. And that is exactly what we will do in this tutorial and even follow it up by creating our first basic React application. So let's go. There are two simple pieces of software that you need in order to start building React.js applications. And the first one, of course, is Node.js. It's very easy to install on modern systems. You pretty much head to nodejs.org, go to the download section, select the installer for your operating system, and then just blaze through the steps. And once it is complete, congratulations, now you have Node set up. And we can verify this installation is successful by opening up a terminal or a command prompt and checking that Node minus minus version is working as well as NPM minus minus version is working. And if both of these scripts work perfectly fine for you, then congratulations, you can proceed to the next step. The other piece of software that we will need is some code editor. And nowadays, it's actually quite easy to just install Visual Studio Code, which you can get from code.visualstudio.com. Head over to the download section and then follow the instructions for your particular operating system. On Windows, you would run through a nice installer. On a Mac, you would pretty much download the zip, extract it to get the app, and then move it into your applications folder. And honestly, that's all that you need in order to start creating some rock solid React applications. To create your first React.js application, open up a new terminal, execute the command npx, which is something that comes as a part of Node, pass it the argument create React app, which is a package that is provided by the React team to simplify the process of creating new React applications. Provide a name for your application, we are calling our application demo. And because this course is designed for professionals, we're going to be using TypeScript throughout to make it very easy for you to take your skills and apply them in the real world. If you are new to TypeScript, don't worry, all of our code will be valid JavaScript. It's just that we will be adding some additional documentation that will help the IDE understand our code a bit better. And while we are using create react type over here, I just want to point out that there are other templates for react.js as well. But this one is maintained by the react team itself and is up to date with the latest features that are offered by react. That said, the content that we are going to cover in this course is not specific to this particular template. So you should be able to pick up any React.js project out there and start hacking with the knowledge that you will gain in this course. Now with this project called demo created, we can simply cd into the directory and open it up within our IDE. Now there are a number of files within this project, but the first one that we will focus in on is package.json and specifically its scripts section. Start is what we will be using during development and build is something that you can run if you ever want to push this particular application to a live hosting production server. There will be some other instructions that you can find within readme as well. But let's just open up a terminal and execute npm start. And this will start our application in dev mode. And you can see a URL that is printed out where we can see our application in action. Let's just click that and open this URL up in our browser. And here we have it, our first React.js application. Now you can see that this template application actually points out the fact that the main source code exists within src slash app.tsx. And we can jump into that file and here we can find the main application component, which is rendering the DOM that we are currently looking at the screen, containing that spinning logo and that text message. Let's make a simple modification and instead of rendering what it's already returning, we render a simple div containing a simple message. But because we are running the application in dev mode by using npm start, everything is automatically going to reload. And when we jump to the browser, you can see this new div with a new text message being rendered. Now that's the basics of running this application, but let's take it one step further and look at how we can build this application so that it can be hosted on a production hosting server. As you might recall from just a minute ago, we have a script to build this application for production called build. So we simply execute npm run build and this gives us this build folder that contains the compiled version of all of our code so that it can be easily served up with any hosting provider. For example, we can even run a simple local hosting server by executing npx serve and setting the serve path to be this build directory. And with this simple command, which has nothing to do with React at this point, we are serving our built assets on localhost 3000 and we can verify that the production version matches exactly what we saw during development. With that out of the way, I want to reiterate that for a large portion of this course, we will be focusing on React and it doesn't really matter which particular template you are using you will be able to copy the code that exists within app.tsx into any React application that you might have. Honestly, it's actually quite impressive that how easy it is to get started with React.js, especially considering how much of an in-demand skill it is. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.